What is going on guys, welcome back to another Football Manager 2015 video. Now as you can see we're going to start off with a brand new series um, called The Recruit. Now the idea behind this series is we're going to start completely unemployed, we're going to go based on the jobs that are available, um, we're going to try and join one. There are a few down the bottom there but there's also a few more like assistant manager jobs, we can get like a coaching job but obviously I want to kind of stay in the manager type role, whether it be assistant manager or just regular manager. Um, but anyway, yeah, so we will start completely from scratch, we will make our way to being hopefully one of the top managers in the world, uh, depending on where we go. We might get sacked a couple of times along the way, you never know, we could go through a few teams and get sacked and have to apply for another one or something like that. You never know. Um, so hopefully you guys will stick around and watch this. And uh, if you do, go ahead. Uh, if you do like it, then please go ahead and hit that like button as well. And if you haven't already and want to see more Foot Manager, then definitely go ahead and subscribe. So, yeah. And um, by the way, if you're not new to my channel um, and you've been around for a while, then... Uh, you know that I actually have a Real Madrid uh, foot manager series going on as well. And the idea behind this, this is going to be every other day. And then the Real Madrid videos are going to go in between them. So say if this was Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday. Then, you know, it'll be Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday that Real Madrid videos will go out. So every other day. So there will be at least one more football manager video a day, which is great. So anyway, let's get into this. Um, job Center. We are currently unemployed. You can look for available jobs in the job section so here it goes here is a list of a bunch of assistant manager um jobs as well i wouldn't mind probably taking the bolton job the bolton would be really good like i'd love to apply to be a bolton uh, manager because bolton's got a solid team if we look at the team um and they've got a solid team bogdan as well the 26 year old keeper i believe he is yep 26 keep, uh, year old keeper he's a decent keeper um who else we got tim room as well as center back um, also, Jay Spearing, the young um, centre mid, is contracted to Bolton as well. I actually thought he was on loan. But anyway, yeah, so we have him. Liam Trotter, I believe he's just come from, if I'm right, Millwall. Um, yeah, Millwall, 2013-2014 series. Uh, se season, Christ. Get that out. Liam Feeney as well. Um, where has he come from? He come from Blackburn. Okay. Well, actually, no, that's a lie. Yeah, so he did come from Blackburn, but... He came on a freeze. He actually left Blackburn. But anyway, they've got a really, really solid squad. Um, the regular, the, like the rest of the team, I don't really know. To be honest, the rest of these jobs, I don't really know. Um, there are obviously quite a few jobs here, like for the like assistant manager jobs. We could go for like Charlton. We could also go for assistant manager at Bolton, you know. But Millwall as well, assistant manager. Uh, Bayern too, which would be nice. Hertha Berlin too. Um, where else have we got? I don't know. Norwich um, as well in the championship. A bunch of really good teams. So starting off in the championship would be really good. But I wouldn't even mind starting off at like Hartlepool or like a League One team. Try and get a League One team all the way to the Premier League. Now, one thing, guys, is I'm probably not going to show every single game of the series. I'm probably going to select ones that are like important. And then I'll, but say, for example, if I play five games offline, uh, when I next recorded, I would let you know the scores and if it was like a good game or whatever i'll show you the highlights of that game etc so you will see like the scores and whatnot and how we're progressing in the league slowly but it just speeds things up so it's definitely something obviously if these are going to be every other day and there might be times where i might not be able to play it so they're at the beginning or it probably will be like pretty much every single game um so yeah that that is something that is probably going to happen so just ignore what i just said <laughs> we probably will show every single game. There might be parts that I might skip out, like, I don't know, the friendlies and whatnot at the beginning. So that is something. But anyway, I'm going to apply for the Bolton job, which I already have. Port Vale wouldn't be a bad team. Let's look at some of the players here. Um, oh, Chris Neal. I don't really know the Port Vale team, so he's valued at 250k. If we add uh, do, 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 transfer transfer uh, value, we can see some of like the values of the players and whatnot. Uh, 625k by the looks of it he seems to be the most uh, valuable player there Chris Lines um, between 11 to 15 crossing for a centimetre is decent good passing which is nice obviously um, decent vision as well like he seems like a decent player so Port Vale I guess wouldn't be such a bad team to go for Leighton Orient as well would be a nice team to go for um, they have quite a few players that are uh, ideal as well a couple that are actually worth quite a bit as well Dean Cox um, who seems like a very solid player 
especially him being 26 years old between 15 and 19 crosses which would be nice um, so I might try and uh, apply for the Leighton Orient job if we go and I'm going to apply for both of these um, but the rest I'm just going to hold off for now maybe the, within the next few uh, we might actually see like more jobs so that could be something but anyway Bolton job received Leighton Orient job application received Bolton Wanderers offered job interview so let's go ahead and attend the board of plays that you've taken the time to attend today these are the f uh, there are a few questions we'd like to ask see if you're the manager we want to take this club forward I'm glad you've given me the chance to talk to the club let's get down to business you've never managed a club team before why is that and why should I o overlook that fact I simply haven't been in management that long but it's something that I've always been near um, the very top of my ambitions as a manager okay I would be uh, have hoped that my reputation standing in the game would be enough for you that's nothing um, everybody has to start somewhere, right? I haven't managed a club yet, but I'm desperate to get started. I've been waiting for the right opportunity to take my first steps into club football. I admit that it would be a risk to take me on without any uh, any club experience, but I hope to convince you that is a risk worth taking. If you believe I'm the right person for the job, uh, my lack of club experience shouldn't matter, right? So I'm going to say, uh, passionately, I've been waiting for the right opportunity to take first steps into club football. Can you explain why you appear to be running for a few jobs right now? Um, I'm merely considering my options. Would uh, we prefer it if a new manager was able to work with the existing backroom staff? Would you be willing to do that? I'd be more than willing to have uh, work with the club's existing support team. Are there any job aspects which you'd like to judge? You on as the appointed manager? Um, Possession-based style of football, uh, attacking, focus on set pieces. Sign a number of high-profile players. Maybe because they actually might give us a bit of money for that possibly um, I don't know whether I want to click that or not cautiously we'll click it is there anything else no no further philosophy should you be hired the expectation is for the club to finish mid table is that fair or do you think it could be um, could improve upon that somewhat in the championship for Bolton a few years ago I would have definitely said that but to be honest um, I'm probably going to say I would be able to uh, reach the proposed mid table finished a wage budget of 325k is enough or should you get the job uh what do you think this proposed figure um i'll be happy working with a slightly smaller budget near the no one proposed i don't feel that the budget is good enough for squad meet the proposed expectations if i had i would expect to be provided with much larger no <clears throat> i would need a slightly larger i'm going to say that um do you have any requests on us uh, consider uh, we decided to hire you. Um, a parent. No, do I want a parent club? No, I think we're good, to be honest. Um, no, I think that's it, to be honest. So, we'll see whether or not we get that. There were quite a few questions there that were actually quite worrying to say. But Leighton Orient, so a tennis interview as well. Hello, Michael. We've been uh, we've invited, uh, invited you along today so we could put forward our vision for the club and allow you to suggest. Okay, that's exactly what we just got. I'm waiting for the right opportunity. We're just going to say most of the same stuff. Can you explain? Uh, merely considering my options. We prefer a new manager with the existing backroom staff. Yeah, that's fine. How would you feel about working with a director of football? Um, I'm more than happy to work with one. Is there anything you'd like to judge us on? Um, no, I don't think so. If hired, we would expect you to guide the team to the league title. I look forward to, challenge, uh, to the challenge of taking this team to the league title. Should you get the job and we're willing to provide a wage budget of £70,000, what do you think of the proposed figure? Um, I'm just going to say I need a slightly larger one. And also, I would want a parent club, possibly. Um, oh, I guess, actually, for a League One side, I guess it's not necessary, to be honest. But anything else? Um, I'd like to push the club's academy to the next attainable level. Uh, scouting range, feeder club, coaching system, youth facilities. Hmm. Maybe the youth facilities. We believe the youth is more than adequate. Okay, well then I'll just uh, say that I've got nothing else to do. Okay, let's skip forward. Um, step back from caretaker manager role. Philadelphia Union caretaker manager. I right, should have a look at the job selection again, see if there's any more. Philadelphia Fulham. I'm going to apply for Fulham. That could be a good team. Philadelphia in the MLS. Um, they got anyone decent? A couple of high-rated players. 
Um, oh, he's on loan though, isn't he? Yeah, I think so. He's on loan. Um, yeah, so he's not too bad. Andre Blake as well. Obviously, I won't really get that much of a uh, of a look on these players because I haven't really scouted them. So that's something. But yeah, the rest of these I've applied for Fulham, Bolton, or Leighton Orient. Either one, to be honest, I prefer the. Or what would I prefer, the Bolton or the Fulham job? I'd say the Fulham have better team, but Bolton would be a lot more fun, I think. And they don't really expect a lot of you, whereas Fulham, I'd imagine, they just expect you to get like to the Premier League straight away again, which they have quite a few old players. So, to be honest, before I could really do anything, I'd probably want to um, ask them about it. So, Fulham job, um, application received. Okay, Barton steps up job hunt. Um, the Fulham and has reported in the market have expressed interest. Many people see Barton as an ideal candidate for the job, although the cottages remain quiet on their intentions as a future. Uh, Barton is considering each role, with Fulham being coming the latest, as well as the likes of Bolton and Leighton Orient. So Barton is currently unemployed. Port Vale have hired Peter Schmeichel as the new manager. Good on you, man. Quality, man. Goalkeepers, yep. I thought you'd have a good stat. Um, Hartlepool as well, Cunningham. Let's have a look at any other jobs. Are there any other jobs? Apart from Philadelphia, no. Bolton have approached me. Bolton have approached me. A transfer budget of zero. Like, they literally have nothing. I can't sign high... I can't sign high-profile players if I literally have nothing. I don't think I'm really going to get relegated. Like, that's not really much of an issue. Um, I'm going to say... 25% increase for a 45% relegation wage drop. Okay, they're, they've agreed with that. But if I finalise that, does that mean it's going to... Oh, balls. I didn't mean to accept that job. Balls, okay. All right, so well, anyway, Bolton is a decent team. I'd say it's definitely a decent team. We've got 350k. Um, let's go into the home a minute. We have £43,000 to spend quite a few players on, so it's more than what I think. Uh, that I thought, sorry. We can get a few players on loan. Um, take Bolton hot seat. That's nice. Personal message from Phil Gartside. Uh, the chairman has welcomed me to Macron Stadium, assuring that you can rely on the full backing of the club's board. Um, okay, I'm going to attend the meeting. I'm going to try and see if I can remove the signed high-profile players. Um, let's get this meeting started. Um, yep, I'd love to learn a little bit more than about Bolton, because to be honest, I don't really know too much. Um, no, I'm not. I don't particularly want that. Uh, I want a long, successful career. I'm Nicky Spooner. Wow, hello, Nicky Spooner. Your assistant manager. I've got some questions to ask you regarding the day-to-day -day run of the team. Firstly, before we, would you like to arrange an intra-squad friendly? Um, no, thanks. Uh, I've also written a report. Would you like me to send it? No, thanks. Um, would you like me to arrange a meeting with the rest of the staff? Yeah, I can do that every three months as well. Now. Agent off it friendlies, I'm going to get you to do, um, because I don't particularly want to do that. Opposition instructions, I'm going to get you to do as well. Press conferences, you can do. Uh, reserve and youth teams now. I'm going to say go for it, um, but I can also look over it myself if I wanted to. So if I wanted to bring someone else up, I can do. Um, team talks, no, I can do that. Training, it's the same with training. I can uh, ask him to do it, but if I want to change it, then I can do. So that's something. So thanks for your help. Let's go back. We've done that. All right, Bolton transfer updates. So, we've got a couple of people on loan um, from Cardiff, and a f couple of people actually, well, on loan to other, well, out on loan. So Watford, Blackburn, Oxford. Um, not too bad. New subscriptions. Um, I don't really care about that. I'm not gonna lie. A background. So we've won the championship three times. We've won the league one once, the FA Cup four times, Community Shield once, the Johnson Paint Trophy once. Our youth facilities are really good, like three and a half star, and our training facilities are four and a half star. That's really impressive. Um, the Trotters is the nickname, which isn't too bad. Let's meet the players. Actually, this, let's watch this first. All right, that's just the, the kind of the, the press. So whole team meeting. Um, want to take the opportunity. Uh, welcome, I'm pleased uh, to see you in charge and hope your reign is long and successful. Thank you very much. Um, I think we can finish mid-table this season. Um, I'm delighted that we share the same level of ambition. We can secure a mid-table finish for the season for sure. That's exactly the sort of reaction I was after. Thank you very much, everybody. It's nice meeting you for two sentences. Um, meet your staff. 
Um, okay, the entire backroom team. Oh, I was just going to suggest a few things. All right, Lee Chung Yong uh, to take corners. So 12 corners. And also Liam Feeney is another candidate. He's got 12 corners as well. Okay, I'll add them too. Um, Dean Moxie should be taking penalties. Yeah, penalty taking 13. It's not too bad. Uh, Liam Trotter as well. Uh, he's got 14. And Neil Danes, or Dans. They've all got it. So Liam Trotter, Dean Moxie, and Neil Dane. All right. Uh, should be taking throw-ins. Mark Tini. Um, throw-ins. Long throws. 17. Yep. He's definitely going to... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. He's definitely going to do it. Uh, Dean Moxie. Uh, long throws as well. He's already really impressive. Liam Feeney as well. Um, long throws. He's good, but I'm not going to do that. Um, I'd like to make you aware of some of the youth prospects in the under 18s this could be something that we could look at he's 15 years old he's a goalkeeper with 11 aerial ability 11 reflexes 11 tendency to punch 13 bravery which is decent 11 decisions it's not bad considering he's only 15 Griff Griffiths Gr Griffiths I don't know central midfielder good passing good technique good work rate good teamwork really good teamwork actually decent leadership for a 15 year old um, 17 aggression Good acceleration, good pace. He seems like quite a good player. Um, and Kenny, 16-year-old um, centre-back. He's got 10 marking, 9 tackling, 10 heading, 13 bravery, 11 aggression. It's not too bad. I've, I'm quite impressed with them, actually. All right. Now, what do we have? So, our next game, our first game against Hull. Um, let's look at some of the, the other teams we have in the championship, of course. So, we have Birmingham, Blackburn, uh, Blackpool, Bournemouth, Brentford, uh, Brighton, Cardiff, Charlton, Derby, Fulham, Huddersfield, Ipswich, Leeds, Middlesbrough, uh, Millwall, Norwich, Nottingham Forest, Reading, Rotherham, Sheffield Wednesday, Watford, Wigan and Wolves. So the teams we really need to look out for is probably Wolves, Wigan, um, ones that I think are going to pose like a real threat to us. So Wolves, Wigan, um, Norwich is a good side, I'm not going to lie. Fulham is good as well. Charlton are good. Um, Blackburn and Birmingham. So there's probably about five or six sides there we really need to worry about. But if we can get into a playoff spot, I'm going to try and aim for a playoff spot. I'm not going to lie. Um, because if we can, we also have a chance of getting promoted into the Premier League. But if we can't get promoted straight away, it's not too much of a big deal. So anyway, scouting. Let's just take a quick look at some of these players that we could possibly bring in. Realistic transfers. Mark Pugh. I think I've heard of this guy before. He seems quite good. Um, I will scout him. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to get him straight away because I have actually no money on the transfers. But anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and actually end this episode of here. If you have enjoyed, please go ahead. Hit the like button, subscribe for me on Twitter, Facebook, all of that good stuff. Links and everything that you need is down below. So thanks for watching, guys. Take care.